What up? So today we're talking about what a film pitch deck is. And if you're a film director, uh, screenwriter or producer, or you're just trying to get a movie off the ground, then you're going to need to know what this is and what's involved with it. Pretty much a film pitch deck is just a business proposal for your movie. It's going to cover and explain everything that it takes to get your script to screen. And that's going to be about 10 to 20 different slides and it's going to be a high level summary talking about all aspects such as the financials, the cast that's involved, the team that's behind it, like the producer, the DP, who the writer is, the director, all of that good stuff. In this video, I'm going to walk us through slide by slide what it takes to put one together and what's involved in one that I've created as a template. Now, there's different purposes for a film pitch deck. It could be used for several different things. So one way you could use it is if you're trying to get cast attached or at least interested in your project, they'll want to see certain aspects of it. If you're trying to get investors, they're going to be probably more interested in the financials and the ROI and who's attached to it. Also, if you're trying to send this out to studio executives because maybe you want to partner with them and you're pitching to them in some kind of way, it can be used in that way also. So depending on how you're going to be using it will determine what type of slides will be in it. The template that I put together is an example of something that you might be able to use to attract investors or get talent and additional team involved. So let's jump right into that. All right, so jumping into this, you'll notice that I have the title and the key art as the very first slide. This is gonna be the opening to your pitch deck. It's gonna have your contact information and it's gonna have some type of imagery that represents your film the best. So this is a template that I've created in Keynote and this is something that you can download if you're interested on my website, I'll leave a link below. But the purpose of this video is really just to go through this and give you an idea of the type of slides you should have in your film pitch deck and what goes inside each of them. Keep in mind that every pitch deck is different. So for this one, I'm particularly targeting private investors and possibly an additional producer for my project to make the team stronger. And maybe I'm also looking for additional talent as well. So the slides that I have in here are targeted for that particular purpose. So the next slide that I'll have once you open the film pitch deck is the synopsis. You'll notice that the background imagery still fits the tone and the vibe of my movie and I've got the title and I've got a tagline there as well. I also note that the tagline is different than the log line. The log line is going to be uh, almost like a, con a condensed version of your synopsis. But I've got a whole separate video on what a log line is and how to create one. So you can click that link in the description or in the card in this video as well. But keep in mind that this is going to be the tagline, not the log line. And the synopsis is going to be straight and to the point. And it's hopefully going to be something that gets them excited and want to flip through even more. The next slide that's going to be included is a trailer. Now, if you don't have a trailer, that's cool. Um, in this particular case, in this fictitious example, I've got a trailer that shows that I've already done a little legwork with this project. And I've put a little fun fact at the bottom that says, hey, we've gotten uh, 200 views in the first week of this being uploaded. And within two months, I've got 15,000 subscribers. So that shows again that there's some legwork that's already been done for this particular project. And I've already made some momentum in getting a fan base together and starting to grow an audience for it, which is quite valuable if you can pull that off before you actually start going in, into, you know, formal production and all of that stuff. The next thing that I have here is the talent that's attached. Now, this could be talent that I've already got attached or it could be talent that I am trying to get attached. In this case, I got Janet Jolie, Ben DiCaprio, Tally Berry, and Tom Bruce. Now, I couldn't afford to get the real Angelina Jolie and Leo DiCaprio and all of these A-listers. Um, I got the C-list version or the B-list versions. In any case, you wanna make sure that if you don't have this talent actually attached to your project, that you don't just put some pie in the sky actors in there 
Like if I had Tom Cruise in here for real, that's going to really bring into question my credibility. Like, am I a producer that has worked with that caliber of actor in the past? And that's easy for whoever I'm shopping that to to know because they'll quickly look me up and see, OK, this dude has not done any type of movies like Mission Impossible 3 and all of that stuff. So I say all that to say, keep this as realistic as possible. Make sure that you include actors that are gettable and by gettable, that means actors that will be willing to work within the budget range that you are proposing and that you can actually get. So the next slide that I'll include is almost like an extended bio and character description for each of the characters. Um, I could do this for a couple of the characters like the star or the lead, or I could do it for um, you know however many characters I've included. Typically, I only want to include like maybe the top three to five you know actors that I'm going to have attached to the project. So this let's pretend that this is the lead of my project, and she is. Uh, Janet Jolie. Um, if you don't know who she is, I've got some of her movies listed at the bottom and a quick bio about her and how her character description is going to play out through it throughout this uh, particular. The next thing that I'm going to go into is the team section. So this is going to be your team. This is going to be the DP, the writer, pretty much the above the line uh, crew. This is going to be the core team that makes this project happen executional wise and brings everything together. I'm going to give some brief snippets of um, what each of them brings to the table and then in separate slides I'm going to make a extended bio that just gives some a little bit more in-depth knowledge on who these people are and why they are right for the project. So in this particular example I've got Sam Sneed as my DP and here's his accolades at the bottom. This guy has won Sundance and Toronto and all that stuff. Now, if your teammates have not won any festivals or anything like that, that's cool. All you need to do is make sure that you highlight any of their accomplishments within these slides. That's gonna be key and important and it brings their value up. So same thing with this writer. I've got you know a bio about him and I highlight the fact that he's won best screenplay. Same thing with the director. Uh, he's got grand jury and you know some a little bit of clout as well. And for the producer as well, maybe I want to list here. She might not have won awards, but I might list some movies that she's done uh, in the past. And by movies being listed, what I mean by that is I'm only going to list movies that are on the same level as this particular project. So if this is a project that is gonna probably be budgeted at $3 million or something like that, I only wanna list movies that she's done that is in that budget range. If she's just done short films that were out of pocket stuff or you know she's done movies that have people in it that um, are not marketable or something like that, just leave that out. Um, you only want to kind of show her most accomplished goals that she's already, um, you know, done. And if you've got more than one producer, then make sure you list that here as well. So the next slide is going to be talking about why us, and that is why you are the one who can tell this story and put this project together like someone else can. This can be synonymous with a director statement or producer statement anything like that. Um, if you want to include a director statement, which would be like a director's, you know, his communicating his vision and all of that type of stuff, you can include that as well. But for me, I typically kind of uh, incorporate all of those into one slide just for brevity. Your comparable slide is going to be movies that are similar that have been done within the last three to five years. Keep in mind that these need to be successful movies, not just movies that you like. So I'm only going to probably include like my top three or you could include like maybe five or six, you know, but again, don't go overboard and have like 40 different movies that, you know, compare to yours and you've got them all listed here. Your competitive advantage is going to be anything that you can think of that is giving you a competitive advantage in, advantage in the market. So if this is a true story or based on true events that you are aware of, that you've gone through or someone has told you firsthand, you want to include that here. Um, and it doesn't have to be, 
you know, that. Those are just a couple of examples. It could just be anything that gives you an advantage over why you're telling this story versus someone else. So this is a little synonymous with the why us uh, slide, but not really. Uh, there's a little bit of caveats in that. Your project timeline is pretty much what it is. You want to keep this brief and to the point. Um, your pre-production, post-production, and your principal production, you want to make sure you include things that are going to be uh, taken care of within each of those periods and how long it's going to take you. Uh, you probably want to have a separate sheet as well that's not included in this uh, pitch deck that gives a more in-depth look of everything that's going to be included. But this is going to be the bird's eye view of um, your project timeline for the most part. If they want to know more, then you just make sure you have that on hand uh, upon request. Your marketing strategy here is something that, you know, make sure that you include how you're going to go and execute any type of marketing strategy you have in place. If it's going to be through paid ads and social media, make sure to include that. If you plan on doing something with television or print or anything, you know, that you can possibly think of, make sure you include that here so that people have an idea of what your marketing strategy is going to be. Now, if this film pitch deck is something that is going to be uh, shopped to streaming networks or distributors, this slide probably isn't necessary because they're probably going to be taking care of the marketing themselves. Your distribution plan is going to be a slide that's really interesting to your uh, private investors. They're going to want to know how you plan on getting them return on their investment, and this is part of that. So if you have started talks with Netflix or any type of studios or anything like that, you want to include that here. If you've got some direct contacts at, you know, key prestigious film festivals, make sure you put that here because that's going to be part of your distribution plan as well. Now, your financials is going to be tied to the distribution and it's also going to be tied to a slide that I did not include in here, which would be your confidentiality, disclosure and risk statement slide. And pretty much what that slide is, it's going to be legal jargon that basically says that, hey, look, these are only projections. These are not promises that um, I can get you your money back. You want to be upfront with investors on that. Everything in here is projections and guesstimates. You don't want to lead investors on and promise them pie in the sky stuff like, hey, look, we're creating the next movie that's going to be like Saw or Paranormal Activity. You know, something like those. Those movies are always uh, exceptions to the rules. Like they could not predict that those movies were going to make over a hundred million dollars based on a 14,000 or a one million dollar budget. So make sure that you keep everything realistic and um, make sure that you reiterate that these are estimates and not promises. You're gonna wanna also include state and tax incentives if you uh, plan on using those, which I think you should because that gives the investors a little bit of their money back up front before you even start shooting. And um, your estimated production budget, just the top line items, not the full budget. If they wanna see what the full production budget is, then just have that available upon request. The next thing you want to have is, um, you know, towards the end is your thank you slide. And briefly, you know, before you end this whole thing, talk about three of the most important or marketable things about your project, just really briefly. And also, don't forget to thank them for their time and their consideration. And of course, on the uh, final slide, make sure that you include your contact information. All right. So now that you know what goes into a film pitch deck, Again, you can download that template and work from that, swap out the images and change the fonts around and have your own. Or you can go to a website like Canva and pretty much do the exact same thing. Um, if you just suck at doing any type of graphic design and you have no idea of, you know, what type of topography to use for any given type of design, then it's probably best that you hire somebody to do it and, you know, um, that way you can just be hands off and, you know, you can just let somebody else bring your vision to life. So for something like that, you can go to like Fiverr.com and hire somebody for a couple of hundred bucks. I wouldn't spend more money than that, to be honest, because at the end of the day, this stuff is not rocket science and it doesn't take that much to design something that looks really good. Um, I got a design background and I can tell you from 
you know, experience that you shouldn't be paying a ton of money for pretty much a, a PowerPoint or keynote presentation for the most part. The content, your story, all of the information and the cast and the team, all of that is going to be much more important than how beautiful that the actual pitch deck is designed. That thing could look as beautiful as I don't know what, but if all your information and your financials are screwed up, the story sucks, then it's all for nothing. So without saying any more, go ahead, have at it. Check out the links below for more videos and information. Until next time, peace.